Hey guys, today we are creating Meow Skulls in the darker version from Fortnite in season 4. It's the third member of the Meow family which we are creating with clay. Today with Meow Skulls. It's the darker version. I ask you which version you would like to see. And we got some clear results for the darker skin version of Meow Skulls. And we start with the aluminum wire, the armature for today's creation. And I'm really excited about this one. It's probably my favorite skin after the gray skin which we have created two weeks ago. Meow Skulls is the missing link between Meowzels and Kit, which I also have created some while ago. I also made a set out of this for clayclaim.com so that you could create your own kit. It was sold out in 24 hours. So. You can finally see the skin itself, the outfit, the epic outfit, Meow Skulls. And I have to admit, I'm not really sure if we are dealing with a boy or a girl. Maybe it doesn't really matter, but it was just a question which I had. We start bottom to head and discuss all the details which we have on this skin. Well, we have the cat claws, the pawns. Then we have the trousers, which are just very dark blue jeans. You've seen that I threw in some black into the navy blue and try to get the legs as thin as possible, but also use my modeling tool to get in some beautiful wrinkles and folds. And now by cutting the clay we are adding all the elements which we get on the trousers. We have the pockets. This one is pretty important because it has a mobile phone in it. Probably the new iPhone 14. I don't know. Some lovely details here. If you want to create together with me you can with the set on clayclaim.com. The meow set. You get all the clay colors. The wire. The pen sticker. Wool which we will later need. And the tools. Have available also in different kinds of wood. Go check it out, clayclaim.com. It's difficult to get some of the clay colors right now, so I can't promise the set will be out for long. And we are now continuing the work on the trousers, on all the lovely details which we got. The back pockets, for example. And there is also obviously a hole for the tail right in the middle of the trousers. Um, yeah, the tail will later be created. This one is a clay color which you can't get anymore. So I have to be very economically with this leftover pieces. I don't really understand why they took out this clay color. Well, you can probably mix it by taking some pink, um, orange maybe. Yeah, this, this would probably make it. And we're adding the lens. Oh, look at that. It's not the new iPhone 14. <laughs> because then we would see four, no, three camera lenses. We have some chains with fish bones. Um, also, probably my highlight on this skin. All these fish bone references which we got on the shirt later. But also all these chains and... Um, on the back side, <laughs> carefully removing it from the plate and let's see if we can attach it to the front. It's coming out of the pocket, the very same pocket where the mobile phone is inside and look at this, the shirt it's straight, the whole skin is very skinny, it's straight, it's going down um, in one line. When you, when you draw a line from uh, the, the upper leg. And this is what I try to achieve by cutting it straight with the scalpel. And then we have the lower arms. Um, it's a shirt. He is, she is wearing. I don't really know. Please help me out here. Is it a she? Is it a he? Is it something different? I'm using the Delphin Grey for the shirt and this is a mistake because the stripes I want to paint after oven hardening uh, with a white pen. 
So if you are following the tutorial, make sure to make this gray really dark. I'm fixing this mistake later on by using a gray pen and just making it a little bit more dirty because then we already got the dark stripes and then we can just paint the brighter one, which are almost white with the white marker. Now adding the shirt, the ripped off shirt, the damaged shirt. <laughs> and for the hands, they are pretty simple. We have the palm of the hand and then adding the thumb, but also all four fingers. They have this cartoonish look where the tip of the finger is a little bit thicker. The hand expression itself is quite simple. In the left hand we will later see the harvesting tool and the right hand is the pointing one. Um, it should look like as if Meowskulls is saying, ah, how you doing? <laughs> Something like that. I added some gray for the attachment of the hands and this will be the hoodie. Getting in some wrinkles as well. Hit the bell, subscribe, don't miss future videos. As promised, I will be working on a bigger map, on a miniature from Fortnite as well. Next week, I'm quite excited because Crystal will make her return and also I'm creating her favorite skin of the new season um, and we will well guide you together through this creation it comes with something special some um, environment as well okay we have the chain here the chain of fish bones and then also these belt belt details look at that attaching it in the front it looks quite nice, um, it cuts the printing of the shirt in half, but on the back side the belt has also a function, it's the um, holding mechanism for the back bling, which we will later create. But now for these tuna fish um, cartridges, are they called like this? Not really sure, probably not. Maybe you remember my Meowzels video, which I did just when the pandemic was hitting really hard, when it all started. And I made the video, I made the creation where Meowzels is fighting the coronavirus. And I told you about my mechanism to deal with big changes in life, um, <laughs> creativity, obviously. And we made this funny advertisement of hand wash. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by hand wash. So it was all new, the pandemic was new, the ways in fighting the virus was quite new and it's still um, one of my favorite videos. Uh, it's probably worth a revisit so I will link it right here. And we are switching over to silver clay one more time to create the back bling, to create Zardine's back bling. Um, it's a very creative one. We have also this huge tuna can. It's cracked open uh, and we will see later some green fog coming out. Uh, we are creating the outline right now and adding the opening mechanism similar to the tiny ones which were placed right onto the belt. Oops is broke but you can fix it easily and then we have some dark edges and corners and stuff with this belt and two hand grenades attached to it for the perfect hand grenade color we take this dark green and throw in a little bit of brown and then it gets this beautiful beautiful dark green color and this typical look of the hand grenade is easily made with a sharp edge and then we can attach them. Each hand grenade comes with this secure locker, this ring, this metallic ring which you have to pull first. I'm trying this, um, well, I try to build it with wire but maybe there's also a better way. 
just taking these tiny screws because they have the similar size and both look the same I think this one is the better choice for the back bling if you want to create together with me you can with the set on clayclaim.com the meow set you get all the clay colors the wire the pen sticker wool which we will later need and the tools go check it out clayclaim.com the difficult part starts creating the skin color the skin tone the fur hmm. but i did a video on this so a while ago kit Hmm? Which colors? We have three colors. Okay. We have this purple white, we have this orange, and we also have hmm. some brown. Sounds so complicated. I try to make it better. I try to make it easier. We have black, brown, caramel, ochre, and white. And we have three colors, which we have to mix. We have these parts of white and ochre and then we throw in a little bit of caramel and then we get the brighter tone and for the darker brown almost like grayish we take same parts chocolate brown and black and then we have all the colors which we will need to create the face to create the skin the fur tone of meow skulls let's see how how it works like puzzling but sometimes it's quite funny to watch my older videos to see which clay I used to mix um, yeah, the, the right tones I think in the kit video I also threw in a little bit of orange but maybe it was a different fur tone and the skin itself Now we have these tiny details. Maybe it's a little bit too tiny. Let's try to make it a little bit more, to make it bigger. And then the holes for the eyes. We need some white, obviously. Try to get same parts. The exact same shape, same amount of clay. And for the iris, it's a mixture of gold and lemon yellow. The iris, just black. And then we have the eyelids. Halfly closed on both eyes. And one mistake may be that both um, irises are right in the middle. He looks dumb. <laughs> but we can change this. Let's change the right eye to a version where the iris, the black part of the eye, is not in the middle. And it looks way more natural now. It really looks like as if Meow Skulls is looking into our eyes. And then we have the ears. They are slightly brighter in the inside part. So just throw in a little bit of white and then try to get this beautiful shape. Um, this modeling tool is very useful and helpful for this. <laughs> Looks like a wet cat. Got wet in the rain. And with the hat, yeah, maybe we'll make it a little bit thicker. We are almost there. We get the look. Oh, looks like a beef eater. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I just put the head or um, some parts I'm working on into the oven for like five minutes baking time because then the clay isn't soft anymore and you can't destroy the beautiful parts which you have just created. It's like saving in a game. Um, who doesn't want to make this? Now for the earring. Ah, this hook looks so beautiful. The feet are missing and this is almost, well, we have the tail and then we are done with the skin tone. Uh, we have this brighter color which we just mixed.
two parts of white, one part of ochre, and then putting the other colors on top, the feet on top. And by cutting, you achieve the more natural look of these claws. We have three toes on each side. And the toenail will be the tricky one. Very, very tiny detail. Also for the fingers, it's always a struggle to create tiny details like this. They tend to break off. Um, a lot when handling the figurine, when handling the creation in your hand. And now for the flail. For the harvesting tool, the fishbone, flayer, pickaxe, I decided to put in some wire as well to make it more stable, but also to make it really straight on the handle. And it will be coated with white clay. And then we have the three fish bones. They're getting smaller from the top to the bottom. Um, it will be difficult to attach them to the wire, but I think this is a technique which should work. Should be quite easy. So first one is done. Next one and also the third one. I'm adding some details, make some lines that it looks like bone. And now we get the handles, the defined areas for the handles. These are extremely, extremely thin layers of black clay. And the tail, coating the wire. Some common mistake someone would do is to put too much clay onto the wire. It's a struggle. It's a lot of trying out when the clay isn't removing anymore. The trousers are wrecked. And this is the technique which I used. It includes the white pen and then filling in the skin tone. And while we are already assembling the whole figurine, drilling a hole into the head, let me mention TikTok again. Check out Ooh. TikTok Clay Claim with some beautiful new stuff which we are publishing every week, four videos a week. I'm working on one video right now um, comparing all the <laughs> Meow family members. With some transparent polish, we get in some shiny, some shiny details on the eyes and also the metallic elements. And this was the mistake I mentioned before. So if you are recreating this creation with clay, make sure to make uh, the shirt darker right from the beginning. Throw in some black then all you have to do is paint the bright white stripes. This is the sticker which will go onto the shirt. It's divided by the belt. And maybe you have to do some recutting until it fits your angle perfectly. And this is the upper part of the sticker. And it looks perfectly. The whole printing. The flare will get some ochre as well and then the transparent polish to make the fish bone really shiny and now carefully uh, the thumb broke off this happens all the time we are gluing it into the hand no one will remove this flare never ever and with the green wool for the back bling we have this beautiful stinky smoke effect with silver metallic marker. I create some highlights. Ah, this looks so beautiful. And we're almost there. The, the, the creation is almost finished. We need some mascara for the eyelashes. Almost forgot them. Maybe a reflex in the eye. A shiny detail. Guys, that's it. Meow Skulls from Fortnite in Season 4.
I hope you enjoyed today's video with Meowskulls. If you want to create your own and follow the video, you can get the set on clayclaim.com. Go check it out. Have an amazing weekend. Stay safe. Stay creative. Bye.